I'm Ryan Reeve Morales, the lead producer on the Champions team at Riot, and I wanted to talk a little bit about our plans for 2020. We'll be kicking off the year with Set the Boss. Set is a new juggernaut releasing today. He's a bad boy from the Ionian underground, but don't tell his mama what he really does for a living. It would break her poor little heart. What his mama doesn't know is that Set actually spends his time breaking the faces of his enemies with a defining new mechanic that builds up any damage he has recently taken as grit. Set can then unleash this pent-up Vistayan energy, dealing extra damage based on how pumped up he is. He can also pick up an enemy champion and body slam them into their whole team, doing extra damage based on the health of the target he grabs. I mean, who doesn't want to grab a 5,000 health Cho'Gath and smash it into a squishy Markson like a damn boss? But enough about Set. Let's talk about what else we have planned for 2020. Up next, after Set, will be the two champion updates you voted on for last year, Fiddlesticks and Volibear. With Fiddlesticks, our goal is to really deliver on its horror thematic, as well as revamping his kit to be more centered around fear, both mechanically and psychologically. You can read more about the progress on Fiddlesticks in a new dev blog coming out today. Now let's talk a bit about Volibear. After the last roadmap, many players thought the latest Volibear concept was cool, but not as exciting as Fiddlesticks. So we took that feedback and we worked on him more, beefing him up a bit and making him even more savage. We also saw that some players were disappointed that we didn't take Volibear in a more eldritch horror direction he has been portrayed as in some of our recent lore. While we thought that direction was interesting, and it definitely excited some of us on the team as well, we ultimately felt it didn't stay true enough to live Volibear. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the demonic concept of Volibear across the finish line and make a kind of eldritch horror themed Volibear skin. And when Volibear's VGU launches, we're gonna give it to anyone who owns Volibear already or picks them up during his launch patch for free. After that, it'll join his collection as a regular purchasable skin. This isn't something we plan on doing for future VGUs, but in this case, we felt like it was the right decision. We'll have more to share in a dev blog later this year that'll really deep dive into Volibear's production. One last thing on the topic of VGUs. We are planning to do another champion update poll where we let players decide on the champion we will update in 2021. Keep an eye out for the vote later this year. After the Voli and Fiddle updates, we will primarily be focused on new champions for the rest of 2020. We've tried a few new tactics with champions over the last couple years, one thing we tested with Kaisa was taking a character players knew from the lore and fully realizing him in game as a playable champion. Bringing the legends to life that we've only heard tales about has led to champions with impactful stories, but also made the whole world of Runeterra feel more alive. Since we felt it went well with Kaisa, we started working on bringing Senna out of the Lantern for League's 10 year anniversary. We have heard loud and clear that you all want more of this, accompanied by exciting new stories that drive the world of Runeterra forward. So expect to see another familiar face hit the rift later this year. Another tactic we tried in 2019 was tying all new champions to big events like Lunar Revel, Battle Academia, Arcade, True Damage, and lastly, Aphilios in Night and Dawn. A big part of events is having something new for players to experience. Outside of game modes, champions are one of the biggest gameplay experiences we release, so adding them to events made a ton of sense. This is something we're going to continue to do in 2020, as we feel that grouping a lot of content together creates bigger and more memorable moments throughout the year. On the topic of events, Champions team has been hard at work on two champions that will be part of a big event this summer. The event will blossom with a new jungler to fawn over, followed by a masked champion who refuses to die. We know it's been a while since we dreamed up a new jungler, but we were split on what we wanted to make. Early on, we didn't know if we wanted the champion to be a teamfight focused bruiser or an agile prancing assassin. It felt like every five minutes we went back and forth. So did we shy away from the decision or meet it head on? You'll have to wait until the summer festival to find out. And as for the masked stranger, well, some demon should remain in our past. Apart from those two summer releases and set, we still have a few more champs up our sleeves for 2020, but you'll have to wait until later in the year for details on them.
One last thing before I go. Some of you might have shown Set that you're worthy to fight in his arena. Over the last month, players who consistently got first blood in their games received a unique but mysterious invitation. If you did impress Set and you got one of these unique calling cards, make sure you go into your inventory and open it now to unlock Set for free. So get out there and smash them heads with Set on the Rift today.